there could be there no, could be I'm, fear I'm that they've got no speed to like I want to see my mom all we're trying to do is keep that area free for people to go about what okay question what law if you go there it's going to activate I want to speak to my mom okay if your mom wants to come down and speak to you that's fine also well she lives that's her house that's her property okay if your mom wants to come down and speak to you fine but you won't be going up there to speak to him afraid what law says I can't okay can you just tell me what law wrong camera what law well, if we get there, we fear that there may be a breach. Is that a law? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's common. You fear. Yeah. It's a common law. Yeah. Have I breached the peace? You, you came close to it back there, yeah. Well, what did I do? Well, you, well, you wouldn't move on with you to. Oh, is that breaking the law? Yes. What? What? Why did I need to move? Well, because. I'm, I'm not going to keep going through this, okay? I, I've given you just going to chat with your mum, and she's going to be coming down to speak to you. So okay, that's I'm the just speaking to No, no, it's not. It's no. not. No. I want to know the law. It is. It's in the Educate me. No. Go Educate yeah. me. No. On your phone, you've got just there. You can have a look it up yourself, what breach the peace is, and how it... But I haven't breached the peace. Well, look on your phone and see if you have. But I haven't. I've just stood there. I haven't swore. Well, I haven't touched anyone. You've had all you're going to get from us now. We're not going to engage any more in this conversation. Really? All right, yeah. You're just doing your job, yeah? We are doing our job, Every police officer who assists in this criminal enterprise is committing a crime ancillary to genocide. The bailiffs are personally liable for the enforcement of the plainly fraudulent claims. The assistance of the police included. The bank's directors and its legal representatives are liable for fraud by false representation, non-disclosure and abuse of position. And every single person here who is aiding and abetting in this criminality will be seen in court. And it won't just be a civil court where you can get away with it. It will be criminally. So, there you have it, a shocking video. Our family was violated. The people that did it, the police, the courts, and some hard thugs. They smashed down the side gate, forced their way through, through our conservatory, Sue tried to push the fridge up against it, but they came through. She screamed and screamed that her mother has just died, leave her alone. They didn't pay any attention. She said, my dog is seriously ill in the lounge. They didn't pay any attention. In fact, the head bailiff, who was obnoxious, who pushed her around basically, or bullied her, said he was going to put the dog down if he didn't get out. The liaison officer said, oh, we've got a home in Gedling, which we know is lies. Come on, it's all ready for you, get out. And the camera crew that went round followed her. Didn't show what was going on. Some of the, the cameras were pulled open when she went into the kitchen to pick up a few items. She wanted her mother's stuff. She wanted to save the dogs. There is stuff in that house that was left to her. Even her old little cat, they blackmailed her with that. We were taking care of the cat and that the, the head bailiff said, yeah, you can get the cat. But then, no, I don't think so. I don't like your attitude. So her mother, the cards, the sympathy cards was left on the mantelpiece. Couldn't take them, couldn't take anything. So as you see, I'm dressed like this, t-shirt, jeans, and the suit I went to London in. Sue was partly dressed when they came in and filmed her, and she picked up some old clothes. That's all she's got. And my daughter, she's just got her ordinary, ordinary day clothes on, nothing else. They violated our house. They violated us. They violated the Human Rights Act. So, 
there's lots of other things I could tell you. Oh, by the way, we have one of our chickens has gone missing. We had we had six. There's only five now. So there's not an awful lot I can add just now. But it's a bit shocking when you spend all your life working, and you wake up one morning with the clothes on your back and not even a toothbrush. So contact us at Eviction Fraud of the Bank and that's on Facebook and there's a response which is a UK response group that uh, helps people join that. We've got our own website we've started which is UK Home Guard we've got that but another very important thing we're starting a petition for a public inquiry into the courts and the police the way they conduct themselves in evictions so all this will be followed at the end of the video so don't turn off too early take the notes and take the, the addresses because we can't let these Nazis do this any longer. It's not 1939. Thank you.